before Pastor Steve has the benediction and our choir leads us in the choral benediction, I have a couple of quick announcements. As we gathered at the cemetery this morning, the Spirit moved me to call upon us to sing Holy, 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 which was uh, the, one of the last hymns I remember singing with Nancy when we had communion with her a short time ago. That song, um, that first verse says, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. And we remember the person of the Holy Spirit was often represented through a dove. A family member or a friend of the family has arranged for the release of doves this morning. And uh, after we finish the choral benediction, I invite the family to head to the back of the sanctuary. If you would like, you may follow and uh, see this, uh, this wonderful representation of the Holy Spirit. And shall I talk about food? There is food. Um, you can imagine with Nancy that she would want you all to stay and join together a round table in fellowship as we share food together this morning. So uh, when, when you were completed with the doves, or if you aren't able to walk out front, you can go behind me. There's a ramp that way. There's steps this way. There will be people directing you to our fellowship hall where a feast has been prepared. As we go from here, consider what it means to have Christ in you the hope of glory. I think the greatest honor that we could give to Nancy is that Christ would live in our hearts and spill over into the lives of others. If you know Christ, consider how he might shine forth from your heart, and that would be a true honor to Nancy. And if you do not know Christ, consider what it would mean to have him in you, to give you that hope that surpasses all understanding. As we go from this place, may the love of God the Father, the grace of Jesus Christ the Son, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, now and forevermore. Amen.